Hey guys, how's it going? This is Joe, and today I'm doing a, you could kind of say a review on the Windows 8 theme for Dreamboard on the iOS device. I'm using an iPod, but it also works on, I'm pretty sure, most iPhone models, but it's, I reckon it's probably best used with a Retina display device. Um, and there's also a separate one for the iPhone 5, so it is compatible with that as well. Uh, this theme cost, I think it's like 99 cent maybe, I'm not sure, maybe a little bit more. Um, but there are ways of getting it free, not that I'll be showing you how to do it in this video, but I'm sure there are plenty of sources that you can download it for free from. So I won't really say actually review, I'm kind of just you know, uh, walk through you could say, I'm just showing you through it. Um, I think it's a really nice theme, it looks nice as well, and does look very nice. It is obviously similar to Windows 8 or Windows 7, Windows Phone as well. Uh, Windows Phone is quite similar to that, you know, the boxes for each bit and, you know. Um, so, as you can see, you've got the time, uh, you can change between 12 and 24 hour. It's got the temperature and the date there. Uh, so, everything looks kind of nice. It's all, I like the way it's all in boxes, as you would expect with it if it was a Windows 8 theme. Um, I'm going to say, it's kind of, it's kind of annoying because, um, I haven't got Angry Birds installed on here, so that's useless for me. I click on that, it doesn't work. But anyway, I'll be into that later. I'll start from the top and work down to the bottom. So straight away here, you've got Facebook. I presume most of you have that installed onto your um, iDevice, but I haven't, because it's literally just a fresh... I use it just for these videos, so I haven't really got anything on here. So if you had Facebook, Facebook would load up. But I'll show you an example here. Click on the phone icon. This is an iPod, so the uh, FaceTime should come up. Well, I say should, I mean, it should. Uh, it doesn't really look like it is working. There we go. Takes a, takes a while to load. That might be just because I have an iPhone 4, iPod 4 gen, sorry. And so it's nothing compared to an iPhone 5 or 4S. Um, so it's going to be a bit slow. But there you go. FaceTime comes up on your phone. Your phone book would come up. Here you've obviously got, um, I believe that's messages. That's email. And that's messages. I'll show you uh, message, uh, email. And there you go. You've got your email coming up here, email, mailbox, inbox. Uh, if I had WhatsApp installed, which I do on my iPhone but not on here, uh, you click on that and WhatsApp would come up. So it's it's listed popular apps that most people do have, which is good, but it would be good if you could have a customization feature. So I could say hold down that and change that to Twitter instead of Facebook or that to Doodle Jump or whatever else you, you, you want there really. Um, this here which kind of got mushrooms on it, but it's pictures displaying. I haven't got any pictures on here, but you obviously get the idea. You click on that, pictures would come up. Oh, sorry, you've got uh, settings, Safari. So you can click on Safari straight from there. Like, uh, like it's a shame you can't have Chrome there instead of Safari. Not be able to. I haven't looked deeply into this theme. But there you go, you've got Safari there. Like I said, it is a bit slow, so I hit the home button, it comes back right. And then obviously music there with Beats by Dre. Sadly, the Beats, Beats aren't the greatest. I think they're just overpriced products, a lot like the app products, but anyway. Um, camera there, you've got your app store, your calculator, your maps, is that downloads I guess? I'm not sure what that is, you've got notes here like this bit so you can add in a note here so you can just put wherever you want, you can type random stuff in, done, and so there, I think that's quite a nice feature, uh, YouTube, Skype, Cydia, and basically everything else that you'd expect you'd have to, for the essentials on your iDevice, you've got iFile there, Game Center, and if you've got an RSS Reader, and the feed showing you from Mod My Eye, so a lot of updates and stuff coming through on there. And if you're wondering where all your other apps are, you simply slide here, and you have all of your apps here. So you've got, um, well, I've, got I've got ProTube here, I've got Nike, I've got Game Boy Advance emulators. Uh, I've, I haven't got any apps on here, like I said. You know, I've got this Temple Run, that was for a video Temple Run there. Videos, you've got everything here. If you go settings, uh, you can choose between 12 and 24 hour. It's also compatible with By S. MS and you can change the text between black and white but I think it looks a lot better in white and if you slide again you've got um, what colour you want your tiles to be I guess they're called tiles click on ooh, click on red if I just get ok go back it looks red, red looks quite nice bit bit loud but if I go across again and here you can see background so if I choose let's go with like a nebula type one click ok that looks alright but obviously I prefer black to be honest um, so this theme is quite nice to use. It's a bit glitchy, buggy, and slow, but I guess the developer will bring out updates throughout the time. Uh, that is about it for this theme. I, I actually do recommend you do download it. Personally, I don't like using Dreamboard stuff that much, but yeah, there are people out there who do. So yeah, I recommend you um, download this and try it out. So remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Cheers.